Public Eyesore, the Light and Projection Festival is back for in Panama City for its 10th year this weekend and this weekend only. News 13's Ethan Logue is joining us live from Gulf Coast State College this morning to tell us more about this unique exhibit and show us some of the work that's even on display. Good morning. Good morning, guys, and like you said right there, this weekend and this weekend only is your only opportunity to come and check out Public Eyesore here at the Gulf Coast State College at Panama City, their main campus. And again, you can come check it out tomorrow and Saturday from 6 to 10 p.m. both days. And the best news of all, completely free and open to anyone and everyone. I'm going to bring in Margaret Webster, again, one of the organizers of Public Eyesore, who's been here all 10 years. So, Margaret, we kind of touched on the basics at the start, but... How about let's get to the artists. What's some of the artwork that's going to be on display this year and some of the artists? Well, so this year we have over 200 artists participating. We're very excited about this. It's like the most artists we've ever had um, participate in Public Eye Store. And they range in age from preschoolers all the way up to people who were in education encore here at Gulf Coast State College. So it's wide range. The art is, it just runs the gamut. We've got photography, we've got painting, we've got drawing, we've got sculptures, we have digital art, we have um, animations and movies and um, all those sorts of art forms. They are going to be here on the walls of Gulf Coast State College and we are so Super, super excited. Um, we have a couple of artists who have um, participated all 10 years, wow. including uh, our own Heather Clemens. Um, and then we have a, a gentleman from the Netherlands who's done it for 10 years too. It's um, Ari Van Rijn. I can never say his name right. I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. Um, but yeah, so it's everything, all kinds of things. All kinds of things. Now, like you kind of just touched on a little bit right there, it's not just local artists too. It really, really broaden your horizons and expand to not only other states but other countries. Absolutely. We have we have artists from all over the world that to participate. We have artists from the Netherlands, we have artists from Canada, we have artists from South America. Um, and then we've got a whole bunch of artists here from our local area um, uh, and the states. Absolutely. There are artists from all over the place. It's just it's so exciting to see all the different images and all the different kinds of art that you can see here on the campus. It's amazing. Absolutely. Now Obviously, with it being tomorrow and Saturday, you aren't accepting any more submissions for artwork, but maybe for people who are watching or are interested in submitting next year, how do they go about doing that and reaching out to you? Absolutely. So we open submissions, and you can go on our website and, and see that there. We open submissions uh, usually the 1st of August, and then it goes through until October 1st. Okay. So, And that also is free. It doesn't cost you anything to submit to Public Eye Store either. Mm -hmm. And if you feel uncomfortable um, shooting your own art, mm -hmm. we offer free to any artist. We shoot their art for them so that they can participate in Public Eye Store. So there is no reason why anyone should say, I can't be in Public Eye Store, because we make it super easy to be able to do that. So when it comes to Public Eye Store, free is the name of the game, it's fair to say. Now, again, if you want to come and check out all the amazing and incredible artists and their artwork, you can, again, tomorrow and Saturday here at the Gulf Coast State College Panama City campus from 6 to 10 p.m. Guys, 